don't just think the, arm, the commitments under the Armed Forces Covenant are relevant to the sustainability agenda. I think they're absolutely key to the sustainability agenda. Um, for me, ultimately, the commitments that are made under the Armed Forces Covenant are commitments to invest in people and every business. Without people, you don't have a business. Likewise, without people, we don't have an armed forces. So if we're not committing to supporting those within the armed forces community to enable them to do their job and to not suffer a detriment as a result of their armed forces service, then ultimately we're failing our people and those people will leave. They'll leave the armed forces, they'll leave business and they'll take their skills with them all the skills that we know people in the armed forces community have in spades, they'll take them and your, your business or the armed forces will be at a significant loss as a result. Um, I think the steps that an employer can take to make their people agenda more sustainable are numerous and almost unlimited. Um, I think what's really key is for any business to remember that what they're dealing with is people. They're not necessarily dealing with the commitments under the armed forces covenant they're dealing with people and if they can bear in mind the fact that they're dealing with people and also bear in mind and tailor their commitments and the support that they offer both to the people that they are offering it to because what might support one person doesn't necessarily support another but also bear in mind their own objectives as a business their resources that are available what they can tolerate what they can't and thinking about it almost in the reverse, from looking at what the benefits might be if they take a particular step, as opposed to looking at it from what the downsides of taking that particular step might be. That is key, I think, to making the right commitments under the Armed Forces Covenant that not only uh, make your people agenda sustainable, but also mean that the commitments you're making under the Armed Forces Co Covenant are sustainable. So it might be um, something as simple as being flexible about leave uh, for a serving spouse who's, whose partner might be being deployed or um, altering permissions um, in terms of amount of leave that can be taken for a reservist who isn't necessarily being deployed but wants to uh, go on a, a particular training exercise for example that might take more than the standard 10 days consecutive leave. Um, it doesn't have to be big, huge, costly gestures, um, but in order to understand that, it's about speaking to the people concerned and being clear about what it is that you can offer as an employer.